Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will try to perform nodal analysis in a gas well that will be equipped with foam lift. All right, so we will do the analysis using Prosper software and we are now inside the Prosper. So you can follow me. First, we go to the section. Okay, for the fluid, we will select dry and wet gas method black oil. All right, so for the separator, single stage separator, PVT warnings, disable warning, and for the water viscosity, use default correlation. All right, and for the water vapor, we use this one, calculate condensed water vapor. All right, and then for the flow, flow type, tubing flow, of course, and then for the well type, producer. For the artificial leaf method, later on we will go to foam leaf, but first we will start with natural flow. So we select none. All right, so you can also type in the company, field, location, well, and so on and so forth in these sections. And for the calculation type, we will go for the offshore model rough approximation. And then for the range, full system. Brian properties correlation default, type case hole, send control none, and for the inflow type, we select single branch. Okay, from here, we'll go to PVT. And okay, we can go for the PVT section. You can follow my data for the gas gravity 0 0.58, separator pressure 200. PSIG and then for the condensate gas ratio, one. For the condensate gravity, 50 API. So it, of course, it's condensate, it's light. So the API degree will be high. Water gas ratio, it's quite high. 100 stock tank barrel per day per MMSCF. All right. And for the water salinity, let's assume 100,000 ppm mole percent of H2S0, carbon dioxide 0 0.5 in percent, and for the nitrogen, 2. And we will model the gas viscosity using Lee et al. correlation. All right, and now in this data, other data option, we will use use default correlation. Okay, and then for the water vapor, calculate condensed water vapor. And then for the reservoir data, you can follow me. For the reservoir data, reservoir temperature will be 165 with reservoir pressure of 1,200 PSIG. Okay, and then for the water vapor data, it will be calculated automatically, but you can check the water vapor plot by clicking this button. Okay, so you can see the saturation WGR, water gas ratio, against pressure for several temperatures. Right, you can see we go from 60 degrees, 77.5, and then 95 through 165 degrees Fahrenheit. All right. It's an important plot, of course, WGR, water gas ratio against pressure for each temperature. So it's, it's an important plot for us in this analysis. Okay, done. And we can calculate. And we provide the range. Let's say for the temperature, we will go from 60 degrees Fahrenheit through the reservoir temperature, 165. Number of steps, 10. And for the reservoir pressure, we go from 200 maybe through the reservoir pressure. Number of steps, 10. Gas viscosity using Lee et al. And we calculate. Okay, this is the results. 
important results, temperature, pressure, gas density, gas viscosity, gas formation volume factor, Z factor, water density, water viscosity, water formation volume factor, including interfacial tension, okay, IFT, pseudo pressure, Okay, this is the liquid gas IFT, oil gas interfacial tension, and so on and so forth. You can also plot. Of first, you can copy and paste on your spreadsheet, and then you can plot, let's say, against the pressure. So we have several temperatures, okay? And for the temperature of the reservoir temperature, Let's say we want to check the gas formation volume factor. So this is the plot. What about the gas viscosity? This is the plot, right? And then removal, pseudo pressure, all right? And the interfacial tension, liquid, oil gas, water gas, oil and water, all right. So it's a very, very important analysis, the PVT analysis, of course. So we have done the PVT analysis for this gas system, right? Yeah, okay, and then including gas density. All right, remove all. Okay, done, done, done. All right, so we have completed the PVT analysis for dry and wet gas system, right? You can see, and from here, we will go to our IPR data section. Okay, so you can follow me. For the reservoir model, we will select the, we can see several models here, right? Very important. and. We will go for the petroleum experts. You can see the description, the explanation for this model in the help section of the Prosper software. All right, so we will select petroleum experts for the mechanical or geometrical skin. We will enter skin by hand to make it simpler. Okay, and then you can follow me for the reservoir pressure, of course, 1200 psig the reservoir temperature this one water gas ratio quite high 100 with condensate gas ratio one stock tank barrel per day i mean stock tank barrel per mmscf compaction permeability model no to make it simpler of course and for the model data you can follow me reservoir permeability of 25 millidarcs with reservoir thickness of 55 feet drainage area 500 acres with DHC factor assuming a circular reservoir, cylindrical reservoir, so it will be 31.6, well bore radius of 0 0.354, perforation interval 55 feet, so we will open all the thickness of our reservoir, time since production started, 50 days, yeah. We assume with 50 days. And for the connect water saturation, 0 0.25. Okay, and reservoir porosity, 0 0.15. non darcy flow factor will be calculated rather than entered. Okay, so we will calculate. And for the beta factor method, original permeability entered is total permeability. Okay, it's a total permeability. And we will go to mechanical or geometrical skin. We enter by hand. Let's assume two, skin factor of two. Enable Wong Clifford model, no. Okay, we can validate. The IPR data set is valid, so we can calculate. First, we will get this number. And of course, the maximum flow rate or absolute open flow calculate all right so you can see the non darcy flow factor now is calculated this is the result and the this one 
absolute open flow, 13 mmSCF per day, million standard cubic feet per day. Okay, and then we can plot results. The x-axis rate and y-axis, I'm more interested in pressure, done. All right, so this is our IPR, inflow performance relationship. Of course, you can plot other variables, including temperature, right? Removal first, you can also plot the total skin. We assume constant value of two, of course. All right. It will be available if we make the analysis, make the data input more comprehensive. If you use, for example, gravel pack, right, you will have more skin in the completion or send control section. But for our analysis, the most important parameters is, of course, flow rate and pressure to make the IPR. All right. This one. And this is again the calculated data, the AOF, absolute open flow, and the skin. The skin is inputted. Okay, done. Done. All right, so we are now completed in the IPR section. From here, we can go to equipment data section. All right. We will input the deviation survey downhole equipment, geothermal gradient, and gauge details. Edit. First, the deviation survey, you can follow me. Zero, zero, and then this one. Okay. 2000. Okay. 2500. 2450, 3000, 2883, all right. And then for this one, 3500, 3300, 4000, 3721, 4500, okay, and then 5,000, 4560, 5,400, 4,900. You can plot. All right. So this is our deviation survey. We have a deviated well. Finish. Done. OK, from here, we will go to downhill equipment, Christmas tree at zero depth and then we will have tubing down to 1000 feet with inside diameter of 0 0.95 inches tubing inside roughness this one okay and then we have also subsurface safety valve with tubing inside diameter of 0 0.95 Let's assume it has the same to being inside diameter. To make it simpler, you can also make it smaller, right? Because it's a valve and tubing down to 5,000 with 0 0.95 to being inside roughness the same. Okay, and then for the casing, this one with casing inside diameter of six inches. The same, the default roughness, and for the rate multiplier, all is one. Okay, later on, if we install foam leaf, we will need to input this information for tubing outside diameter, all right? Because we will involve annulus in our analysis, all right? Okay, from here we can click done and then we will go to geothermal gradient with overall heat transfer coefficient of three and for the temperature at zero depth, 45. And then for the 
this depth 75 and this the reservoir depth 165 you can also plot yeah this one okay and then we can click finish done catch detail no need okay average heat capacities we can click edit yeah to check the average heat capacities we can use the default numbers done okay so we can check the summary okay this is our summary and we can click draw down hole so as you can see we will have christmas tree and then tubing and after that we will have scepter phase safety valve and again tubing okay and lastly, we will have casing. Okay. Now, from here, you can click done. From here, we can go to nodal analysis, right? This is our well sketch, well diagram. Now, we will go to calculation to perform the nodal analysis. The top node pressure, the well head pressure in this case is 500 with water gas ratio. 100 so the top node pressure itself is already high so we will have maybe with this gas water gas ratio will we will suffer liquid loading problem maybe because we have high water gas ratio and high wellhead pressure okay we will check that later and for the condensate gas ratio is one okay and then the vertical lift correlation we use this one solution node bottom node automatic geometric let's say and left hand intersection disallow this one is no okay we will check and now we will calculate show calculating data okay as you can see right we suffer liquid loading problem. First, you can check this table. Okay, be careful here. We have gas rate, water rate. And if you move to the right, you will see maximum turnover velocity and turnover velocity flag. If we have a yes, it means that we are under the terminal velocity, which means we are in the risk of liquid loading problem. But if we have no, it means that we have no problem with liquid loading issue because we have rate that is higher than the terminal rate. And you can see we have yes all over the place, except the last one. And visually, you can see the plot, this one, this flag turner 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 right so it's a it's a problem that's why later on we will install with foam leaf okay so this is our condition okay you can also check the plot right this is our condition you can also check this one terminal velocity flag right this is yes or no one or zero so this one is the yes so below or on the left side of this section we have liquid loading problem and our operating point is on the left side all right on this terminal velocity flag and on the right side of this one, we have zero or no, no problem with liquid loading. So it means that if we flow at rate of 10 or 12 million standard cubic feet per day, we will have no problem with liquid loading. And below that, we will suffer liquid loading problem. We can maximize at this section. All right, so you can see we have liquid loading problem. Okay. So, so now we will equip our well, our gas well, with foam lift. All right. So we can click done. 